what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Pleasant View. So today for this part we have something very exciting happening as you can see. We are at college. We are at Sims State University with our four teenagers. We are with the Pleasant Twins, Angela and Lilith. We are with Dustin Broke and with Dirk Dreamer. So I played their first day off camera just so I could kind of get the feel of things, get them a little situated and accustomed to college. I picked their majors for them. I gave them makeovers, picked their rooms, all that fun stuff. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of explain to you what major I decided for them, show you their little makeovers and then kind of just go over some things that I've noticed. You know, there's been some changes that has happened. I've been noticing some uh, changes in the relationship. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So real quick, because Dirk is about to head off to class. So this is Dirk and his young adult life stage. He's so handsome. I love his outfit. He's so classy. I swear this kid just amazes me. I love him. I really, really, really do. So he is off to class. I gave him the political science major because, um, I don't know, I just see him being in the law career or the political career, one of those two. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> he's headed off to class right now, but that's his little um, outfit we got going on. And this is his room over here. This is not his homework. I forgot to lock his door and some random chick was up in his room while he was sleeping doing her homework, which is really freaking creepy, so I'm going to have to make sure I lock their doors. Uh, but, yeah, that's his room. And then we have Angela down here. I did give her a makeover. I think she's so beautiful. Um, so her hair's grown out. She styled it a little bit. She outgrew the little clip and everything. So she's wearing the cute little plaid skirt, sandals, green little top. She's killing it. And she's doing her assignment. But she is a biology major. Uh, I really didn't know what career I <laughs> would see her in. I figured, you know, since previously we noticed her grades begin to skip um, or slip not skip slip because of her like relationship with her sister and like the dynamic with her family just she was really struggling just really struggling uh, so we got her up to a C so <laughs> yeah I had no idea you know wh what route she wanted to take in college so I figured I could see her doing something you know maybe like being a nurse something in the medical or maybe even being a teacher uh, which honestly I think I, I could see her being a teacher so I went with the biology major so yeah, she is doing her homework, and this is her room right here. Um, and then I believe, where is she at? Here is our girl Lilith. Um, I did give her a makeover. I kept her hair and her dark makeup because I really like that hair on her. And I gave her this grungy style outfit, which suits her perfectly. It comes with some nice little tattoos. I had her major in art. Um, same with her. I wasn't really sure what career I could see her in because for the longest time, some of us was like, is she even going to make it to college? But she blew us, or blew us, blew me away at least with her grades. And she was just like killing it. Um, her relationship with her parents was starting to get better. I mean, we was really helping our girl out. So... Yeah, I figured maybe she would be like a writer or maybe like an architect, something like that. So I went with the art major. So yeah, that is Lilith. Uh, I believe she's going to dance, <laughs> but she doesn't have class until 2 p.m. I really need her to work on her assignment though, because you know, we worked hard to get here. So let's go ahead and keep it up. <laughs> and then of course we have Dustin up here. I'm gonna go ahead and wake him up so we can change into his everyday outfit and you can see what I did to him. But yeah, also he's another one. We didn't uh, you know, know if he was gonna make it to college, but he made it and I love him. I love how his wants, he wants to get somebody to do his assignment for him, which is so typical, but we're going to have him come over here and take a shower real quick. But yeah, this is the outfit I gave him. I just thought that fitted him perfectly. And look at the way they walk. I hate how the young adult college students walk in The Sims 2. It's so slow and so awkward looking. Like they just... I mean, I guess it's accurate. <laughs> they kind of just don't have a care in the world, but uh, it kind of drives me crazy. Um, yeah, I just figured you know, he would have that same bad boy style, even though he's trying to be a better person. Um, I don't know. I just don't want to, you know, change his style up too much. Uh, I gave him the history major because I can see him 
doing something in like the military honestly I know he's a bad boy it's criminal but I don't think he's a bad boy I think he was just doing what he could to take care of his family and you know college is an opportunity for him to change um ooh, we got ooh, we got look at all these girls okay look ooh, okay now, now it's time for me to talk about the dynamic that I have noticed going on between these sims since I have played one day with them at college. Okay, so for starters, where is she going? To play catch? Okay, so she's making a friend with Kitty Lou. Okay, we'll let her play catch with Kitty. Um, but yeah, so I noticed in her wants, she is still thinking about Jonathan. So she wants Jonathan to go to college. She's here with her boyfriend, Dustin, but she's not happy to be here with him. She'd rather be here with... Jonathan, which annoys me because I was going to try to like have them work things out and I don't know I just don't see college working between Dustin and Angela because obviously Dustin is 100% into her like he wants to propose to her he has this fear of getting a rejected for a proposal by Angela but she is so preoccupied with other boys and I think it's just going to get 10 times worse at college with all these boys in the dorms, all the fraternity boys, all the football players. And she's a pretty girl, so she's going to get a lot of attention. So I see there being some tension there. And then also, I've noticed that Lilith and Dirk, ever since um, they moved here, they've had dinner together and like breakfast. They've had them like eating stuff with each other, but they have not been getting along they just keep having like these negative reactions with each other and i i really had high hopes for them too i honest to god i did because i was like look he's helped her become a better person um he's you know influenced her to you know change her life for the better but i feel like they're starting to realize that they are just two completely different people uh personality wise they just i don't know i think that there's a possibility that they might get out and meet people that suit them better that is better for them um i don't know i'm just going to kind of go with the flow with those two and just kind of see where it goes because i don't know i've i don't know i just i don't i don't even know how to explain it but i know what i'm saying like sometimes you outgrow somebody um so i don't know it'll be a cool 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 story to watch when we're you know hanging out with our sins here at college so i'm very very excited um i'm pretty positive i told you to do your homework did you do your assignment probably not but i do want you to come eat see like roberto walter he just looks more like her her type you know where dirk's like very classy and like preppy uh so i don't know i really don't we'll have to see but let me make sure i'm not skipping out on anybody look, look she wants to invite jonathan over call jonathan invite jonathan over like she is dying to freaking talk to jonathan so i did have her do her assignment i'm assuming that she finished it where is a phone around here i guess we can go ahead and call jonathan um she has class at 5 p.m so i mean i don't think it'd be a good idea for her to invite him over because dustin's not in class yet and i think he'd be furious so she may just call him and uh, we need to get her showered and everything before she has class. See? All right, so we have Lilith here, and she's, like, getting to know Roberto. Um, and obviously, they are attracted to each other. Let's see how much of an attraction. Um, where is that at? I, wait, what? I'm, I'm pretty sure they know each other. Oh, well, maybe there's not too much of an attraction. I thought there was. Okay, so we're going to call Jonathan Graham oh he he's not home right now oh i'm sure that just upset her as per you know persistent she was in talking to him so i guess we're gonna have her come use the restroom and then take a shower and then we really need to work on her skills that she needs and um i guess we probably need to socialize with dustin a little bit i don't know it's just it's hard to to <laughs> socialize when we're working so hard on you know everything else but i'm going to have Dirk, um, be congratulated. Why, why is she coming to congratulate him? I'm not really sure. Um, okay, well, stop dancing and let's let Lilith congratulate us if she wants to be nice. Okay, we ruined it. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so he's just going to watch her dance. Okay, and you know what? We're going to have him do his assignment because he is an overachiever and he's going to come straight home from class and do his assignment because that is dark. <laughs> but yeah, he's doing pretty good. He's got all of his skills so far he needs. Uh, we just need to keep up with our assignments and do our term papers and whatnot. I believe he has class at 8 p.m. So we have like all day to hang out with him. Um, I mean, I guess we need to start working on his assignments, but I do want him to come and, like, socialize and uh, talk to some other girls and, you know, make some friends. I don't know. I just think it's important that they kind of, like, explore their options and not necessarily with that mindset, oh, I'm exploring my options, but low-key, you know, they're getting to know other people. So let's have Angela come down here and eat. Like I said, she has class at 5. Um, when does Lilith have class at 2 p.m. So I think Lilith is the next to leave for class. Um, did she do her homework? That is the question. I don't think she did. So let's have her do that <laughs> because I want her to do really good in her grades. I don't want her to get to college and then just like kind of forget, you know, how much work she put in to get here. Uh, Lilith is wasting time trying to build class performance because the class performance meter is full to make room in the meter have Lilith build one of the required skills oh okay well I guess we don't need to do that we need to work on our skills so she needs to work on cur mechanical creativity and cleaning um, okay well, let's go over here to scrap this painting and work on a painting to get that creativity all right so that helps me out a lot he's doing really good I'm so proud of him he's such an overachiever um, he wants to make Dean's list of course he does let's lock that okay Angela we're gonna have you practice painting um, where, where is he going? <laughs> Girl, Lilith will deck you in the face. <laughs> She's like, really? Wrong twin. I'm not interested. I'm really, really not. I wonder if we can, can we join the cheer team? How do we do this? I'm pretty sure, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Can you, can you learn? You can learn how to do that little dance, right? Ask. Um, join, I guess I think that's join dance. Um, I don't know. Anyways, Angela does want to throw a sports party, so I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, what is she doing? Working on her fun. Yeah, we need to do that. Um, Lilith has class in one hour. Oh, girl. <laughs> yeah, nobody's seen that except me. I've seen that girl. Uh, what is he doing? Is he browse web for games? thought he was being a little overachiever and already doing his term paper <laughs> um all right well I think he's hungry obviously so let's come over here and eat and this Tucker guy just looks like he would be a good friend you know they just look like they'd be friends so we're gonna introduce ourselves to him after he eats maybe go over here and talk to Kitty you know I just want them to like I said kind of get out of you know their little friend group which honestly <laughs> They're not really friends, they're just boyfriend and girlfriends. It's really the only relationship between them. Um, they're not all really friends. I still have freaking Angela and Lilith fighting in the middle of the freaking dormitory in front of everybody. It's so embarrassing. Like, they need to grow up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she has class, yeah, five, right? Oh, crap. We're going to have her late for, you better go. Okay, so she did get her creativity up, which is good. Okay, now she's got to run to class, which she's not going to be in a hurry for anybody. <laughs> um, all right, and he's eating. What do we have? What, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't even have to tell you to work on your logic. Overachiever. Okay, so let's see who he has met since he's been here. He's met Abby, um, Neri, Tucker. He has met Kitty. He's, uh, I really like Meadow. I think she's still a... I think she's still a teenager, but I think he really likes her, um, or, you know, finds her attractive. Uh, Blair, they are not friends. Um, I don't know, let's call Brandy, you know, and make sure mom's doing okay. I, I didn't even realize that we left Brandy alone with the two boys and I, I think part of him kind of feels guilty because he's not there to help because he has kind of been the backbone of his family since his father's death so he's just gonna call and talk to her and let her know how everything's going all right so dark has come down here and he is chatting with kitty who he is like very attracted to he was like freaking out over how beautiful she was and 
Uh, conveniently, Lilith just got home from class, so I guess once she gets done showering, they need to, you know, spend a little bit of time together. But I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? I just think that being here, because I just feel like they've been kind of stuck in their little, their little pleasant view high school town, and all they've ever known was, like, each other. And now that they've, you know, gone outside of their town, and there's know more fish in the sea there they're starting to realize that and um I don't know I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing I think it could be a good thing I think they could all probably like you know mutually agree um that sometimes maybe things work out for the best so yeah let's see she is back from class so we need to work on some of her skills uh, but she's going to do her assignment. So since she wants to be a little overachiever, let's have her do her assignment. And then we'll have them uh, maybe have like a little makeout session or something like that, I believe. Um, join LAN party? What? What? What does that mean? What is join LAN party? Somebody help me. I don't even know what that means. Um, does that mean we can go to a party? Shows how much I know. But it looks like Griff won't get out of our freaking chair He's just ruining everything that we're... Okay. Let's join LAN party. L-A-N party. I'm assuming... I was thinking maybe that's um, a fraternity or sorority. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe that's not what that is. Okay, apparently that's uh, a game. Because I'm, I'm hitting join LAN party. But it's playing SSX3 for some reason. Not really sure if that's a glitch. But he's got class. So we're going to have him do that. I just realized... That they're 34 hours away from their final exam. Now, when do we have to do our our term paper? I'm pretty sure term paper... I'm not sure. <laughs> we might have to do that. But before we <laughs> do all of that, um, this part is going to be wrapping up shortly. Uh, where is Lilith? She's going to poke her sister. Typical. I mean, I mean what else would you expect between these two? <laughs> All right, I, I don't want you to do that. I want you to come sit down over here on the couch, and I want you and Dirk to kind of come over here and bond a little bit. He's going to do the school cheer. Oh, okay, he's not interested. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I just I feel like they've all had, like, conflicting schedules and, you know, are working so hard to adjust. So they haven't had time to, like, properly hang out with their boyfriend, girlfriend, <laughs> and, like, you know, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I want them to come over here. You know, kind of just see what's going on, how's class and whatnot. He's like, hey, girl, hey, boo, what you do? How's it going? How you doing, girl? You look so good. Let's cuddle her up a little bit. Aww. Oh, wait. What? Okay, look, look what just happened. They just fell in love with each other. And here I am saying I don't think things will work out between them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that opposites attract. So, you know, like I said, we're going to play it by ear with these two. Because they they obviously love each other. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just think that they have so, so much history that maybe, you know, even if they did explore their options, you know, while they're here in college, nothing might could compare to what they have. If you know what I'm saying? But as far as Angela goes, Angela and Dustin... <sighs> I see her playing him until she can't play him anymore. You know, I, I can imagine him proposing to her. You know, he's ready to take this next step in their relationship. And she would probably even agree to it because it's stability for her. Until she realizes that, you know, she needs to stop hoeing around and, you know, let it you know, him be the one and take care of her, or she decides that she wants to, you know, let him go and cut ties. Uh, I love how he's in here cheering them on while they're making out. That's so weird. But anyways, y'all, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead. <laughs> I'm like repeating myself. Oh my God. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this part right here <laughs> because it is kind of like a whole new Sims 2 LP in a sense. We're, we're still calling it Pleasant View. We're still going to visit every family, but I feel like because it's university, it just adds like a whole new dynamic. And there was so much to take in. It was like their second day. Um, we had a lot to go over, you know, with their like relationships and their personalities and 
their majors and whatnot that I don't want to ramble on too much. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. I hope you guys are excited about the teenagers being in college. I think it's going to be a lot of fun when we, you know, play with them. It's going to be a lot of fun, you know, seeing where their life takes them. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all of your suggestions, comments, all of that down below. And yeah, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!